here we discuss two concepts from real analysis and they are one is lf null and the other is continuum and this discussion is meant for the net and pg students very often we come across questions based on two concepts the first concept is the cardinality of n the set of natural numbers denoted by this symbol to be read as lf null or lf not the second concept is the cardinality of r the set of real numbers and it is denoted by c called continuum this brief discussion is devoted for these two concepts the cardinality of a set a capital a denoted by hash a to be read as cardinality of a it is a measure of the number of elements of the set a cantor jor cantor defined cardinality in terms of bijective functions he defined the cardinality as two sets have the same cardinality if and only if they are equivalent that is if and only if there exists a bijective function between them the cardinality of a finite set is it is well known it is the number of elements in that set and it is a natural number and we have the concept of transfinite cardinal numbers what are they they describe the sizes of infinite sets the sizes of the infinite sets are are given the name transfinite cardinal numbers the transfinite cardinal numbers are denoted by a hebrew letter lf this is lf followed by a subscript lf not lf0 lf1 lf2 lf3 so on so forth they are all infinite cardin cardinal numbers the cardinality of n the set of natural numbers it is denoted by lf not or lf null or sometimes called lf 0 and the cardinality of n is n is a infinite set the cardinality of n is infinite but it is measured as a hebrew letter lf not the cardinality of r the set of real numbers is again infinity but it is denoted by c called the continuum it is another measure the real numbers are are more numerous than the natural numbers that is the real numbers are more in number than the natural numbers so the cardinality of r is a c greater than lf not so thus we have come across two infinities one is lf not and the other is c c is greater than lf not r has the same cardinality as that of the power set of n so cardinality of r is equal to the cardinality of power set of n and uh, symbolically the cardinality of r is c Uh, is equal to the cardinality of power set of n is 2 power the cardinality of n the cardinality of n is n not lf not that will be equal to 2 power lf not 
is greater than Lf0. So, C is equal to 2 power Lf0. That is the relationship between these two cardinal numbers that is continuum and Lf0. That is C is equal to 2 to the power of Lf0 and C is obviously greater than Lf0. The smallest infinite cardinal number is Lf0 and the second smallest is Lf1 is C that is the continuum. Note the cardinality of Z is equal to the cardinality of Q is equal to the cardinality of A where A is the set of all algebraic numbers and they all have the same cardinality as that of the natural numbers that is Lf0. And we have studied in our MSc course that uh, Z is equivalent to Q, Q is equivalent to A, A is equivalent to N. So, and saying that they all they are all equivalent sets and thereby they will have the same cardinality that is Lf0. And uh, that means uh, we have uh, the, the how many integers are there? As many as there are the rational numbers. That is what it says. So cardinal of Z is equal to cardinal of Q is equal to cardinal of A is equal to cardinal of N is equal to Lf0. Here A is the set of algebraic numbers. What are algebraic numbers? The solutions of polynomial equations with integer coefficients are called algebraic numbers. Let n be a natural number, then n plus Lf0 is equal to Lf0. That means if you add any finite natural number with Lf0 and the sum is still Lf0. Lf0 plus Lf0 plus etc. Lf0 n times that is n times of Lf0 is Lf0. Lf0 multiplied by Lf0 multiplied by Lf0 n times is equal to Lf0 to the power of n is still Lf0. The open interval a comma b is equinumerous with r. That means the open interval a b is equivalent to the set of real numbers. That means they will have the same cardinality. Cardinality of a comma b is equal to the cardinality of r is equal to c. Note the cardinality of r minus q. r minus q is the set of all r minus real numbers, the set of real numbers minus the set of rational numbers. r minus q will be the set of irrational numbers. So, the cardinality of the set of irrational numbers is equal to the cardinality of t is equal to the cardinality of r power n is equal to the cardinality of r is equal to c. So they are all equivalent sets. So r minus q the set of all irra irrational numbers is non-denumerable set, uncountable set. T is uncountable, r power n is uncountable, r is uncountable. They all have the same cardinality C. Here T is the set of all transcendental numbers. What are transcendental numbers? Real numbers which are not algebraic numbers are called transcendental numbers. Let uh, n be a natural number then, then n plus C is equal to C. That means if you add any finite natural number to C that will be still C. Lf0 plus C is C. C plus C plus C n times is equal to n times C is C. C plus C is C. C plus C plus C is C. C plus C plus C n times is C. C plus C plus C plus C Lf0 times, that is Lf0 times C is C. C into C into C into C n times, that is C power n is C. And 
C into C into C LF naught times is equal to C power LF naught that is equal to C. And don't jump to the conclusion C into C into C C times that is C power C is C. Don't jump into that conclusion that is wrong. And C power C that is C into C into C C times C power C is 2 power C. C power C is 2 power C is greater than C. So note down, note down this. Note, cardinality of n is equal to Lf0 is less than the cardinality of R that is equal to C is less than the cardinality of power set of R, yes, and this is less than the cardinality of power set of power set of R is less than the cardinality of power set of power set of power set of R and it continues. And uh, remember, these are all infinite numbers, transfinite cardinals and uh, infinity bigger than that, another infinity, bigger than that, another infinity, bigger than that, another infinity and goes on. So it tells you there are infinitely many infinities are there and this, this fact was given by George Cantor that is cardinality of n is Lf0 is less than cardinality of r that is 2 power Lf0 is equal to c which is Lf1 which is less than 2 power c is equal to Lf0, Lf2, Lf1, Lf2 is less than 2 power 2 power c that is Lf3 is less than 2 power 2 power c is equal to Lf4 is less than and it goes on less than less than goes on. So, so these are the the hierarchy of transfinite cardinal numbers. So there are infinitely many transfinite cardinal numbers are there. They are in fact infinities. So this is the brief discussion on two concepts LF null and continuum and this is meant for net and PG students. I hope that you have understood these two concepts and uh, use these results wherever they are necessary and solve the problems that are coming in the national eligibility test. I wish you all the best. Thank you.